Oh, what's up guys, Mr. Drew here, and I'm bringing you a video of some more Call of Duty 4. We are playing some Search and Destroy once again. Um, this is actually from my last video where I went 8-0 and playing Call of Duty 4 on uh, Showdown, I believe. Um, this is the game right after that, so we got the same party members. Uh, I think it's Starblunt. Um, no. I don't know, it's... It's like Mr. Bedroll, Freaky Slow Boy, maybe Star Blunt, maybe Mr. Egg Roll, and I don't know if Soul Synergy was here. But, um, yeah, I just know we had a five man party. Um, so, yeah, this is another pretty good game. I, I'm not exactly sure what I go. I think I go something like 13 and 3, or 13 and 2, or something like that. I do. I get more kills, but I get a couple deaths with it, and um, the video is a little bit longer. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's get down to it. Um, I don't really have any topics. I didn't think of any topics to come up with. Uh, and I don't feel like rambling because I usually just ramble, and I'm bad at that. And yeah, I think I'm a better commentator if I have, like, I think I'm a fairly decent commentator as long as I have a topic to come talk about um which i don't so this may not be such a good commentary um let's see and i've said um about 500 times just this commentary which is exactly the point so um yeah there we go again i think we're actually going to talk about ryan dunn because i've been kind of wanting to talk about that and i just never really thought of it so i'll do it now so as most of you know ryan dunn uh died I believe the 20th um, if you do not know who he is well for one you're just crazy but uh he is from jackass and he is Bam Argyra's best friend pretty much oh no we did have no we have five men party Asian assassin was the other guy um, so yeah it's pretty much Bam Argyra's best friend he was on the show jackass and he was like the co-star with well, not the co-star. He's one of the stars, I guess. Uh, and he was probably he was pretty much like my second favorite on the show. So I mean, not while I, it's not like I was a big fan of him, but I mean I did like him on the show. He's my second favorite, so it's kind of I mean it's sad anyways, but I mean it just makes it that much worse. Um, I think people have been making way too big of a deal of it than what it's been, because I mean like I don't know, it's just people are like. Oh, making it sound like he's a superstar, or like he's such a great person, and like there was an interview with Bam Margera, he's like on that side of the road, and like interview him, and he's like saying, he had so much coming for him, and all this crap, and it's like, look at that, freaking two hit markers, thanks a lot, Juggernaut, and last thing, um, and he was saying like, how he had so much coming for him, and stuff, like he was gonna have such a great life, well, I don't mean to be a douchebag or anything, I mean, I'm, I have nothing against, like I said, I have nothing against Ryan Dunn. I think he's an awesome, like, he was really awesome in that show. But, um, just, yeah, uh, oh, by the way, my first favorite in that show is definitely, um, oh, crap, I forget his name. No, no. Come on, of course, like, I don't know if he's everybody's favorite, but he's definitely my favorite because he just got the biggest balls on the freaking show. And I don't mean that literally in a homo way, I mean that as in, he just he's freaking the bravest guy on there uh he takes like so much pain and he just does it again um johnny knoxville he's a freaking beast i mean he, he like volunteers to get hit in the balls and then regrets it but like doesn't complain or nothing it's just awesome so um yeah anyways there go rambling on again um i forget what i was talking about <laughs> oh yeah um i i was saying i don't I feel like he didn't have a lot coming for him because I mean, what what would have been there to come for him? He get like a huge acting job? Nah, there was no, there was like no, nothing that showed that he would be a good actor or nothing. I mean, Jackass, it's not acting; it's all real reality. Um, I don't think anybody took interest in him. I think it was just, I mean, he was a good person and stuff. But yeah. Um, and it was his fault, they, they did say that he was intoxicated and that he drank before he drove, uh, and he was going, 
like it was an empty road there's like no cars around when he wrecked and he was going like something like 120 110 100 something like that over at least 80 i'm pretty sure uh and i don't know it was supposed, i guess it was like a sharp beer turn type thing and he didn't turn <laughs> he went straight and went right through the uh um gate thing and went right off the road and wrecked and the car like pretty much blew up caught on fire and killed him and his friend inside it which see that's what i hate because i mean he wasn't that big of a person but i mean all the people they're making the big deal they're all acknowledging ryan dunn dying but they say nothing about his friend dying they just said that his friend also died with him but that's all they say they don't even say the guy's name they don't even say like um rest in peace for him or nothing i mean it's just really sad to me because it's just like that's what i hate about our society and stuff is that uh people take so much consideration for the stars and stuff like okay like a, a superstar like let's say angelina jolie dies and then her friend also dies but it's not famous at all no one knows her no one's gonna care about her friend dying. It's all gonna be on Angelina Jolie. They probably wouldn't even say anything about her friend dying. They're just say, "Oh, her friend died," and that's it. Just like they did with Ryan Dunn and his friend, it's, which is exactly what I hate. I mean, they could have at least, well, unless they're like, of course, their parents didn't approve for their name to be said, but just say their name, you know, and just say, um, like, cause I mean, I feel worse for Ryan Dunn's friend because Ryan Dunn was driving, so that means he pretty much got him and his friend killed so it's morally Ryan Dunn's fault but in many ways yeah sorry about rambling a lot like in that commentary guys but uh hope you liked it hope you liked me hating on Ryan Dunn even though I like him uh looks like I went 11 and 1 so yeah did pretty good uh hope you guys liked the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and other than that guys I'll see